This week, a former Northview schools teacher was arrested for alleged sexual assaults that happened over two decades ago. The victim, now a 38 year old mother, apparently inspired to come forward after having a conversation with her daughter about personal body safety. According to court documents, James Christians has admitted to these assaults. Courts calling the case of people of the state of Michigan versus James Patrick Christians. First thing Tuesday morning, 50 year old James Patrick Christians appeared in a Kent County courtroom via a live video link to be arraigned on two counts of criminal sexual conduct in the first degree. It's called criminal sexual conduct first degree. The maximum penalty is up to life in prison and mandatory electronic uh, lifetime monitor monitoring. You'll also be subject to the Sex Offender Registration Act. According to court documents obtained by Fox 17, investigators with the sheriff's office were contacted on February 1st by a now 38-year-old woman who claims she was sexually assaulted on at least two occasions by Christians. When he was a teacher and she was a 13-year-old student at Northview's Crossroads Middle School starting in 1998. Given the serious nature of this felony complaint, uh, the court's going to enter a plea of not guilty to both charges. The docs reveal a controlled call was made by the victim to Christians in the presence of investigators in which he, quote, made references of something occurring during this time frame. My client, on information and belief, has no prior criminal history. He learned of this problem on Saturday morning, uh, when he was visited by two Kent County uh, Sheriff detectives, uh, cooperated with them, accompanied them down to uh, the Kent County Sheriff's Department, where he agreed to an interview. Sitting down with those detectives over the weekend, Christians allegedly admitted to assaulting the student on two occasions, once apparently while at the home of the young girl's father. On the video screen, it's probably hard for the court to see, uh, but I'm accompanied here in my conference room by his wife, Angela Christians, uh, his, my client's son, with his wife. Despite this, Christian's wife of 27 years and his son sat next to his attorney, Frank Stanley, in support during the arraignment Tuesday. I have asked them if they felt that he was released on bond, if he would remain law abiding, and they both strongly agree that he would be complying with any and all his court orders. Taking Christian's lack of a criminal record into consideration alongside the serious nature of the charges, Judge Jeffrey O'Hara set bond at $1 million. Are the court's concerned regarding safety of children. The second prong is the court's concern regarding risk of flight. The defendant, Mr. Christians, is 50 years old. He um, is charged with two of the most serious charges. Uh, that can be um, issued. Christians is scheduled to be back in court on February 14th. If you have any information about this alleged assault or if you might be a victim yourself, you're asked to contact the Kent County Sheriff's Office or you can submit information completely anonymously through Silent Observer.